Microsoft Azure has text to speech conversion capability under its cognitive services umbrella. And I'm very excited that they have recently introduced the Sinhala language support. In this short video, I will present a use case of text to speech and I will guide you through a very simple implementation. I'm Dinusha Kumar Siri and I warmly welcome you all to this video. Let's see what are the common use cases of text to speech. By the way, this is not a complete list. You can be very creative and solve many business problems with text to speech. Using text to speech, we can allow people with speech disabilities to properly communicate with others. In the same time, it can enable people with limited literacy to perform day to day work. An example would be to implement text to speech in ATMs. Virtual assistants can enable organizations to understand and respond to queries of their stakeholders. An automated communication interface can intelligently answer to questions of its user. An example would be a chatbot implementation. Text to speech can enhance the experience for education and publishing industry. We can convert existing materials, including books, to audiobooks and podcasts. Finally, this can optimize entire business processes. It can enhance the customer experience by engaging them more. My scenario in this video is on an organization which has multiple customer servicing counters. The customer should take a token and will wait till his token number. Let's improve the process by adding some text to speech. Let's start this in Azure portal. I will search for speech service. As I said earlier, it is under cognitive services and the speech section. Let's create an instance of it. I will select the free tier. Right, it's created. Let's go to the resource. Keys and the endpoint section is the most important to us. I need to copy the key and location region and maybe endpoint. Before we start any development, let's navigate to the documentation. We can see all the supported SDKs and some rich examples. Let's navigate to the supported uh, languages. We can search for Sinhala. We can see two types of voices available. I am now in my Visual Studio and I have already created a console application. Let's add the relevant Nougat package first. Let's add this. Let's create a separate method. I will simulate my function with some random numbers. My random number should be within 1 and 5.
I will create some random number for token as well. In hundred and five hundred. Ideally, this should come through another service. Let's implement the uh, function. It's config dot from subscription. Here I have to pass the key and the region. So key should be from my Azure portal. We'll copy it. Paste it. And region also I will paste. We assign this to a variable. So I have to now give the voice. Remember, I have shown you how to get the single voice. There are two white, there are two items. I will select one. Then I have to apply the configuration into my speech synthesizer. I will just print the uh, counter, counter, and the token number for my reference. Right. Then I need to pass the message. So in here, I can do whatever the single word I would like. Let me construct my message. This is my message, very simple message. So let's uh, call this from my main function. What I'll do is I will uh, implement a do while loop. And since this is a demonstration, I will not worry about any performance or any other aspect. Some console message as well. Right, that's it. Let's try this out. Let's recap. We have covered text to speech in general and we have discussed about Azure speech services. Then we explored how singular language can be used. Then we implemented a practical solution with .NET SDK. I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching this video.